Hi everyone, the average based questions are very common in CAD exam, particularly the maximum possible average or minimum possible average. So in this video, I'm going to uh, solve some four important average based questions. Uh, the questions are displayed on the screen. All these are previous year CAD questions. And once you have understood this question, you can be confident of uh, solving any such question in future. Particularly the first question requires a separate approach. And uh, I'll suggest that you remember that approach because that's a very unique approach. So let's look at each question one by one. So the first question says that in a group of 10 students, the mean of the lowest nine score is 42, while the mean of the highest nine score is 47. So for the entire group of 10 students, the maximum possible mean exceeds the minimum possible mean by how much? That means we need to find out the maximum possible mean and the minimum possible mean and we need to identify the difference. That's our answer. So let's understand what is the scenario. <clears throat> Suppose these are the 10 students and I have arranged them um, in the ascending order of the score. First student has the lowest value, lowest score and the 10 student has the highest score. Okay. So the question says that first nine students or the lowest nine uh, students average score is 42. So I can say this total is going to be 42 into 9. While the highest nine scores average is 47. So this is going to be 47 into 9. So it's very easy for us to make out okay, if I subtract this value from this value. So can I say student number 2 to student number 9 score will straight away get cancelled out. So we'll be left with highest score and the lowest score. So I can say the highest score minus the lowest score is going to be equal to 47 into 9 minus 42 into 9. So this is nothing but 45. Very simple because 9 is a common factor. 47 minus 42 is 5. 9 fives are 45. So up to, up to this point, what we have understood is the difference between the highest scorer and the lowest scorer is 45. Now, how will we find out the maximum possible average of this group of 10 students and the minimum possible average for the group of this 10 students? So here is the unique approach that you need to use. What you can do is to find out the maximum possible average. You can assume that each of this first nine student got the 42 score. So definitely the score of the 10th student should be 42 plus 45 because score of 10th student is 45 more than the first student okay or the lowest score right. So what will be the average of this group? So it's very easy to make out okay if all the students have scored 42 then the average will be 42 but the 10th student has scored this 45 extra marks. So divide this 45 extra marks among 10 students and the average will straight away come out to be 46.5. I'm sure all of you would be clear with the basics of this averages. Similarly, to find out the minimum possible value, what we can do is we can assume the uh, scores of all the top nine scorers, that is student number two to 10 as 47 marks. So in that case, score of this lowest score, scorer will be 47 minus 45. Okay, because if 10th or the highest scorer has scored 47 marks, then the lowest scorer should be 45 less than that. We need to keep the difference of 45. So in this case, what will be the average of all the students? So once again, if all of them have scored 47, then the average would have been 47. Let me just write over here. So average would have been 47, but this student has scored 45 marks less. So let's divide this minus 45 among the 10 students. So we will get this as 42.5. Now this is our minimum possible average. And this is our maximum possible average. So difference between 46.5 and 42.5 is 4. So that is our answer. I hope all of you have understood this question. Now let's look at one more such uh, interesting question. So here is another question where you need to find out the maximum possible score of the topper based on the given data. And this is actually very easy question. Guys, if you are well prepared with the average uh, concept, trust me, most of the CAT questions based on concept of averages can be solved under 60 seconds time even if you look at previous uh, question even while i was explaining you i have solved in about 90 to 100 seconds so you can definitely solve it in under 60 seconds okay so let's look at this question the arithmetic mean of uh, the scores of 25 students in an examination is 50 in fact what you can do is you can quickly go through the data over here <clears throat> right so there are 25 students and their average score is 50, their average is 50. So definitely that total can be written as 25 into 50. So these are number of students, this is average. So total will be 
one two five zero marks. Now five of the st uh, students top the examination with the same score. So out of this twenty five students, five students have got the same marks, say X marks. So their marks will be five X. Okay. If the score of the other students, that means we are talking about remaining twenty students. Let me just write it over here. This remaining twenty students, their scores are distinct integers with the lowest value being thirty. Uh, then the maximum possible score of the toppers. So we want to maximize this. So that means we'll have to minimize the score of this 20 students. And we know the minimum value is 30. And each of this 20 student have scored different scores. So we'll, we can take their scores as 30, 31, 32, up to 49. So these are the different minimum possible values that we can take. So what will be this total? It's very easy. We can apply that formula n by 2 in the bracket. The first value plus the last value. So we will get this as 790. Let's subtract the 790 from this value. So we will get this as 460. So 460 will be the score of this remaining 5 students or you can say 5 toppers. So what will be their maximum possible average? 460 by 5 that is 92. That's our answer. Once again observe the time that I have spent to solve this question. It should be around 60 seconds. It's a very straight question. The only thing is you need to understand what do we need to do. If you want to maximize the average score of the stoppers, we'll have to minimize. <clears throat> we'll have to minimize the scores of the others. That's it. Okay, let's take one more such question. This is once again almost similar question. The average of 30 integers is 5. Okay, there are 30 numbers. The average is 5. So I can say total is 150. Right, let's write down over here. <clears throat> Among these 30 integers, there are exactly 20 integers which do not exceed 5. Okay, so there are 20 integers. The value is less than or equal to 5. Do not exceed 5 means it will be less than or equal to 5. So that means remaining 10 integers. Let me use different color. Right, this remaining 10 integers, the values are definitely greater than 5. Now, please understand they are integers. So we can't take values like 5.1, 5.2 and all. If they are greater than 5, so we can assume the value as 6 or something like that. Now, what they are asking is, what is the highest possible value of the average of this 20 integers? So they are talking about maximum possible value for this one. So we'll have to minimize the value of this one. So what is the minimum possible value that I can take for this 10 integers? They are greater than 5. So I can assume that all of them are 6. So the total is 60. Let's subtract this 60 from here. So we will get 90. The average of 20 integer is 90. So uh, to, uh, the total of this 20 integer is 90, 90. So average will come out to be 4.5. So this is the maximum possible average value for this 20 integers. So answer is option C. I hope all of you have understood this. Now let me show you one more very simple PYQ of CAT based on averages. Uh, an elevator has a weight limit of 630 kg. It is carrying a group of people of whom the heaviest weighs 57 kg and the lightest weighs 53 kg. So we have people with the weight 53 kg to 57 kg. We definitely know that there is at least one person with 53 kg and there is at least one person with 57 kg. What is the maximum possible number of people in the group? Now, if you want to maximize the number of people in the group, we know the total weight can't exceed 630 kg. So we'll have to take as light people as possible. So let's assume that there are exactly N people with the weight 53 kg. And of course, there has to be one person with the weight 57 kg. And this total weight should not exceed 630 kg. Isn't that? So yes, we will get 53N less than or equal to 573. 630 minus 57 or you can say n should be less than or equal to approximately 10.8 so the value of n that we can take or the number of people with the weight 53 kg that we can accommodate will be 10 and of course there is one more person of 57 kg weight so total number of people in the elevator will be 11 so our answer for this question will be 11 so i really hope all of you would have enjoyed learning this concepts we have learned it in a very short span of time I'll keep coming up with more such videos to uh, help you foster your CAT preparation and other entrance exam preparation. Don't forget to hit the like button and please share it with all your friends. And in case if you are preparing for CAT 2023 or other exams and if you want to prepare under my guidance, then you can go for plus or iconic subscription of an academy using my code. What is the code guys? Please enter in the comment section. I'm sure all of you know that. 
in case you don't know then it is shah 10 okay so when you use this code you unlock many opportunities so go for that as well take care